Number 27, letter A. What is the radius of a bobsled turn banked at 75 degrees and taken at 30 meters per second, assuming it is ideally banked? All right, so this sounds like we got to use the ideal banking uh, equation down here on the right-hand side, which says that the tangent of the ideal banking angle all right, will be equal to the uh, linear velocity squared divided by the radius of curvature multiplied by g. Now, what are we asked to find? We're asked to find the radius, right? So let's just solve this thing for uh, r. Now, in order to do so, right, uh, to solve this for r, it's in the denominator on the right-hand side, so the trick would be to just bring it to the numerator on the left-hand side. And then notice that the tangent of the angle, right, is really over 1, so this is, on the this is in the numerator on the left-hand side. So you can simply bring it down into the denominator on the right-hand side. And if we do that, we get this result. r is equal to v squared over tan of theta sub b multiplied by g, right? So now all I need to know is the linear velocity and the angle, and we do know that, right? Here's the angle, here's the linear velocity. So just plug it on in. So we got 30 squared all over tangent of 75 multiplied by 9.8. And the radius of curvature, or the radius of the turn, whatever you want to call it, is 30 squared divided by parenthesis tan of 75 multiplied by 9.8. And it comes out to be, uh, what do we got here, 24.6. Okay, so we got 24.6, and that's in terms of meters. All right, so this would be the radius of the turn. And that takes care of letter A. Let's take a look at letter B. Calculate the centripetal acceleration. All right, so let's try to find a formula uh, that deals with centripetal acceleration. And maybe let's think about some of the other givens we have, like the radius and the uh, ta uh, tangential or the linear velocity. And it looks like this one will be very nice, right? So we have the centripetal acceleration being equal to the linear velocity squared. That looks almost like a 3, uh, divided by r. So simply just plug in the values. So this is 30 squared all over 24.6. So the centripetal acceleration will simply be 30 squared divided by 24.6, 36.6, right, when we consider rounding. So 36.6 meters per second squared, and we got that value. Now let's take a look at uh, letter C. So it says, does this acceleration seem large to you? Well, um, I mean, not, not really, but why don't we try to um, find a ratio here between maybe, let's find out how many G's, uh, G's this is. That might give us a little more context. So 36.6 all over 9.8, right? That will tell us how many G's. So 36.6 divided by 9.8 uh, comes up to 3.73, right? So we got 3.73. So the, um, you know, the accelerations that the individuals in the bobsled experience are about three and three quarter or four times greater than that of gravity. I mean, it's, it's a pretty decent, um, you know, G-force, but it's nothing crazy. Um, especially, I mean, if you've ever watched bobsledding, I'm not surprised that they can hit Gs like that, probably even higher. But um, yeah, sounds fairly reasonable. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next question. Thank you.